Uh, I had the really, this is one of the games we got that was in really, really rough condition and actually didn't work at all. So uh, we actually had to go through pretty much everything on this game. We, we actually had to get a new circuit board, a reproduction one, because the one that was in there was so eaten up from 40 years of battery acid. Unfortunately, someone way back in the 70s left the batteries in. And then we had, uh, we got to rebuild the power supply, got to rebuild the soundboard, and especially with Gorgar since it's that first game with the speech board, you got to really rebuild the speech board because everyone wants to hear Gorgar speak. And then we had to rebuild the drop targets, two sets of drop targets, the electromagnetic target at the top of the play field, got to go through all the switches. Uh, I had to rebuild all the switches and I had to rebuild the flippers, uh, the out hole kicker had to be rebuilt, the pop bumpers had to be rebuilt, and you know, I had to seal the back glass, got to touch up the back glass, had to redo the score displays, the, uh, the original 70s gas displays, rebuild the out hole kicker, even the, the other out hole, it was, it was a big project. Gorgar was the first game with speech, and it actually, um, it came out in 1979, so that was a new technology. And the speech chips back then, there's three of them in Gorgar, they were actually about $50 a piece, and that's before inflation. So they were very, very expensive. And uh, it was a huge expense for them, but it, it paid off because everyone would play the game more because he talked. But he only had seven words, uh, and they put them in different orders. I think it's like you, me, Gorgar, beat, and you say what did you say? Like you hurt Gorgar, and it could, but it also say you beat Gorgar. You know all these different combinations, but only seven words, and it cost them a whole bunch of money. And you know it, it still sounds really cool today, even with the limited vocabulary, you could say. Electromagnetic coils. We've got the drop targets here. Drop them all down, that'll reset. That's another electromagnetic coil that'll pull them back up again. And we got all the lights, all the switches. Yeah, that's what it's for. That was like they really wanted to put that in to make it seem more spooky, you know. Usually there was a continuous tone for other games, but they actually put a heartbeat sample in this one. And actually as you score points, his heartbeat will be faster. 